Okay, I'm going to do these pretty quick, less explanation. Uh, you've got three problems here. I'm going to ask you to hit pause, go away and work them. Uh, I'm going to then write the answers uh, in order. And so uh, you can, you know, you can watch them one at a time and hit pause. I'll write the answer to this one, talk a little bit about it, then I'll write the answer to the bottom one and then the third one. So I'll write the answers in black. So go ahead and work this one, hit pause, work them, at least work the first one, and then come back. Okay, so leaving groups chloride, no beta hydrogen, no elimination. You have a good nucleophile and an acetate, polar aprotic solvent. So this is gonna be an SN2 reaction. And you're gonna wind up with benzyl acetate. Okay, next one, if you haven't worked this one already, hit pause. Okay, you're back. You have a leaving group, the tosylate, uh, you have a strong base uh, that's that's hindered. You have a high temperature, so this is going to be E2. Strong base, higher temperature, strong bulky base, not a very good nucleophile. Secondary carbon with a leaving group, so bulky nucleophile, relatively hindered uh, carbon with a leaving group. Going to give you elimination. Nothing will happen to the stereocenter with just the methyl, so all our chemistry is going to take place here and we're gonna get the more substituted alkene, which is the trans. So we're gonna grab one of these protons. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What did I do? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our six carbon. There's E2. Okay, if you haven't done the bottom one, hit pause, go work it now. Okay, so we have excess sodium methoxide, so again, if you think about this, we need one TB toxide for every one of, if you think about stoichiometry, one TB toxide for every tosylate, one acetate for every chloride. On the bottom, we have two leaving groups, tertiary bromide, primary bromide. And so if you're going to react both of them, you need an excess. And so what about that? We have a good, we have two leaving groups. We have a good, we have a strong base that's also a good nucleophile, so E2 or SN2. Lower temperature, so substitution is going to be favored over elimination. So on the primary uh, leaving group, the methoxide can do an SN2 here. So we can use an SN2 reaction to kick out the bromide. That'll put a methoxide here. What about on the tertiary bromide? Right? Tertiary bromide? You can't do SN2. So we can't do SN2. We have a strong base, so it will do E2. And our product will be the tri-substituted, right? By Zeitsev's rule, we can get tri-substituted or di-substituted. Tri-substituted is more, more stable. There's the alkene, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that's bonded to the methanol. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make sure we have that right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, I put in one too many carbons. How did I do that? So there's one, two, three carbons between the alkene. One, two, three between the alkene. One, two, three. So there we go. That's the product over there. Now, so one, two, three, and there's a methyl on the two carbon, alkenes between two and three, four, five, six, six bonded to the methoxide. There's your product. 